right, guys, I have another editorial for you on this Friday. That's right. And, uh, you know, I know it's Friday the 13th and it's scary and ooh, uh, and, but I've got a feel good one for you. You know what I mean? And I know that sometimes we can be hard on law enforcement officers. <clears throat> we can. Um, you know, as a public servant, when I have, you know, I help people in the community as a public servant. And when I'm representing myself as a servant, like when I'm at work, um, I try to let people know that I assist. Look, I'm your servant. I'm, I don't say those words, but in my actions, I'm basically saying I'm your servant. I'm here to help you. I want to get you to where you need to go. Come on, let's do this thing together. And I help them. I've actually had people come in the in our office that if I'm helping people out in the front, they'll see me and go, I'll wait on that guy. Yeah, he, he helps me all the time. He's great. I'm, I'm going to wait for him. They actually have requested me to come help them because I present myself as a servant of the public. I'm in there to help you. I want to get you what you need to get before you leave here. You will be happy. That's what I try to do with people. <clears throat> so people have said, well, how are you a public servant? How are you this? If you talk to cops like that, usually it's a cop that's treating a law abiding citizen who's exercising a constitutionally protected activity like a criminal somebody who's not breaking the law and the cop just thinks look you know what i'm a police officer or law enforcement officer or a deputy and i have control over everybody in this community no you're a public servant and you're here to serve the community but they forget that and they think i'm a cop and i'm very hard i uh, on cops as a critic i expect and demand their very best when it comes to serving the public, particularly those who are not breaking the law. So that's why I am the way I am. But when I'm doing YouTube, when I'm like right now, I'm not representing my company, my work, my job, anything. I'm representing Community Leo Watch, who watches Leos, that's law enforcement officers from coast to coast. That's what I'm doing right now. My job, my career, that's over there. We'll get to that later when I walk into the office and sit down in the chair. <clears throat> For right now, I'm just community Leo watch. I have nothing has nothing to do with my job. So I, I do keep them separate. I try not to be different between the two. But when I get a public servant that acts up, yes, I expect and demand your very best. Anything else? I'm going to correct you. And if I have to do it in a way that gets your attention, I'll do it in a way that gets your attention. Does that make sense? But, you know, and so we're hard on law enforcement officers. So we need a feel good story. We need something that's going to make us smile and go out and enjoy the rest of the day with a smile. And that's what I'm going to do right here. I know some people are going to disagree with me and go, well, there are no good cops. But you know what? Let's give this cop a pat on the back for something good. Let's kind of, you know, give him a thumbs up for the thumbs up. You know, we're always giving him a, the finger. Let's give him a thumbs up this morning to this cop right here. Let's just give this guy a pat on the back. Can we do that? Comes to us from clickorlando.com. Thank you, clickorlando.com. <clears throat> Going to North Carolina. The woman's shirt read homeless. The fastest way of becoming a nobody. That was the message that inspired a touching photo in North Carolina Wednesday. Officer Michael Rivers of the Goldsboro Police Department shared a moment of compassion with a person in need. He was on his lunch break when he came upon a homeless woman he hadn't seen before in the community. He asked her if she'd eaten. She said no. Rivers told CNN, God put it on my heart to get her lunch. He got pizzas at a nearby restaurant and for 45 minutes he ate and talked with the woman who said her name was Michelle. A passerby snapped a picture of the heartwarming photo and posted it to Facebook. And I'll tell you right now, uh, her t-shirt does say that, homeless, the fastest way of becoming a nobody and that's how they feel sometimes, you know, and I was recording the police here locally one night and the cop got really mad and said, Hey man, can you give me some room? And I was already like 50 something feet away. But this, uh, so I told him, you know what? You need to just do your job and quit worrying about me. And he got on my face and he was putting his flashlight in my face. He was going to grab me. He was going to grab me. He just, he just lost it. The dude just, I, I swear I, there was probably foam inside his mouth getting ready to, slobber out 
he got so mad. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy so mad about? I'm just standing here recording. And that's what I'm talking about when I was talking about the beginning. But what gets me is this guy behind me on a bicycle who was upset that I wasn't complying with the deputy. I was like, what the... And he said, you know what? It's I, I'm glad for these cops being out here. They need to get these pieces of shit off our streets. And that's when it hit me. And for the next couple of days, it was up here in my head and in my heart that that's how we look at the homeless sometimes. We need to get these pieces of shit off the street. Why? Because they're less fortunate than you? Because they live in tents? Because they sleep under bridges? Because they don't have access to showers and bathtubs like you and I? Because they don't have a closet full of wardrobe that they can just switch and put on clean clothes the next day? Is that why you call them that? And so sometimes that's how we look at the homeless with a very, ooh, like we're looking at garbage piled in the street. Instead of going, hi, how you doing? How you doing, sir? How you doing, ma'am? You know, when I pass homeless, sometimes I walk up to 7-Eleven to grab lunch <clears throat> sometimes. And uh, occasionally someone that appears they may be homeless will walk by me. And I always say, afternoon, sir. And a lot of times they'll go, hi, how you doing? Sometimes they don't, though. I'm on my tie and my shirt. Sometimes they kind of look at me like waiting for me to give them the glare. And I go, how you doing? And they're kind of surprised. But I always try to say hi to people as much as I can. Sometimes I don't. If I if a person gives me a certain look and I think maybe that person's not going to say hi, maybe that person's looking at me like, you son of a bitch. I may get a little bit standoffish. But I don't look at them like they're pieces of garbage. And so when that guy said that, I was like, you are out of your mind. I said, this cop is searching this guy for no reason. And that's why he was pissed off that I was recording him. That's why he was pissed off. Had nothing to do with a scene or an investigation. It had, he was pissed off that I was recording him violating this guy's Fourth Amendment civil rights to be secure in his property and on his person. And my point is, now we have a police officer, Michael Rivers of the Goldsboro Police Department, that's sitting here having lunch, having pizza with this homeless woman and talks with her for about 45 minutes. Let's give the guy a pat on the back, can we? Come on, guys. Thanks, Officer Rivers, for your kindness and your beautiful spirit in that moment. Guys, Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast. Thank you for watching. Love you. Have a great weekend. And I'm going to have some editorials coming over the weekend. I got like six or seven still to do. And more coming every day. Thanks, guys.